That's Westy here. Hey, look, I'm just going to talk about tolls quickly. Uh, I know that everybody's probably knows all about them, but anyway, um, just some of the things, or most of the things, it's not an exhaustive list. When you buy a kit, you get all your screws and, and bits and pieces, but there are a lot of things that you don't get, and there's, you definitely need to do some, some additional work. So it's good to have the tools set up. So I've got like a ferrule crimp, I've got some ferrules here for doing um, your ferrules. I've got the ferrule, ferrule tools, I've got two crimpers. I've got um, uh, 2.54 JSTs, uh, some lithium grease for your rails, uh, plus different size orifices to go onto that. Um, I've got um, a permanent marker, a digital vernier with a depth profile out the back so that you can measure depth. Uh, I've got three, four different size screwdriver, uh, uh, hex drives. This one here is an interchangeable one, and it's these four bits fit into this little little handle here. Um, I'll zoom in, and so you can have a bit of a closer look at some of that stuff, eh? Hey? And I'll just carry on talking while we're while we're zooming in. Just a sec. Okay, so yeah, so we've got our verniers and ferrules, our JSTs. So there's four different size tools here, uh, Allen key tools. I use these all the time, they're good quality ones for I use for building um, RC helicopters back in the day. Um, so there's four with one tool, and then I've got like a bigger one, which I think this is four mil or five mil, four mil. You need that a few times. So there's four, three, two point five, and two. I think it is four, three, uh, four, three point five, three, two point five, two. And I've also got the uh, two different size screwdrivers here as well. I've got a little flat blade screwdriver. I've got uh, tape measure, verniers. Uh, oh, and this is a cool little set that you buy. Um, it's basically got every, all the scraper and everything for the uh, the Creality tools uh, printers. It's got some really good stuff in it, um, especially like the nozzle tool. So you'll find that the nozzle tool actually fits the thermistor in the in the um, Magic Phoenix um, tap boring kit. So there's a thermistor that goes on the bottom of the build plate, and that that actually works perfect for that. And these are cool, these are actually a new addition. Um, there's, three, there's a straight, there's a little uh, 60 degree angle roughly. And they've got, uh, and the, this one here is like a, I don't know what you'd call that, 80 degree angle. And that one's like, that one's got a slight angle on it. And what they are is they're spring loaded. And they're, they're, they're flame proof and everything and they're spring loaded. So you can pick things up. and it's spring loaded, you don't have to put any pressure on it. Um, so they'll be handy for things like pulling belts through and moving belt the belts through the um, various um, pulleys and idlers. Um, thermal paste for um, attaching your uh, thermistors to your build plates or your, um, you know, anything that's on oh, your hot end, anything like that that needs to have Thermal efficiency. Um, there's good thermal paces like Arctic Five for doing the CPUs. Um, oh, and a, and a deburring kit as well for deburring parts. So that's oh, and then obviously for the Voron kits, you, you don't actually need this, but it comes in handy with uh, your printed parts if you can find out whether you get your um, MG9 and MG12 uh, rail guides. That's the two, two of the MG12s. Oh uh, yeah, syringe for doing your uh, lithium grease for greasing them up. Uh, and, and you also need a good digital uh, soldering station. And a decent 
um, multimeter as well. So you'll definitely need that, uh, especially when you get to the electronic side. So you want a good quality one. Um, yeah. So so that's pretty much most of. The, oh, of, of of course, you'll need. Um, uh, oh, and also you need for, for putting your magnetic plate on a, ma a plastic spatula or something like that to actually squeegee it on. Um, isopropyl alcohol, engineering square, um, a couple of little good little pry bars that I've got for in case you get your, your, these are really good for. Um, if you get your little spring nuts in, on, in the correct way, you can just flip them, the pressure on them and they flick out, that's really good. Um, so yeah, so that's not an exhaustive lift. Obviously you're gonna need some something like that, brake clean or some sort of um, penetrating cleaner for cleaning your rails up. Um, masking tape. Masking tape's good for one, holding these, holding the car carriages on the rails to stop them from getting lost. The ones from um, Magic Phoenix are good though because they come with these little rubber grommets that stop the tracks from moving, uh, tr stops the, the, them from moving too far left or right. I'll pull these out when I'm ready. But they're on every track which is really good but not on all of the tracks. But that's a good addition but this is good also for marking the front and back. Another thing that I did, I'll just take this off uh, so we can go remote. So here is an old chair that I, that was an old uh, office chair that was smashed. Um, so what I did is I basically took the seat and everything off, um, and put a, a piece of a decent sized piece of timber on it. And so I can rotate this round while sitting down on a chair or whatever, especially when you have got it upside down, and you want to be working on the electronics and stuff like that, and you don't want to be working. You know, up on a table, right up high. Um, so this is really good, especially for feeding belts, because you'd be kind of sitting down like this, and then feeding your belts down through, back up, back up through here, back down, etc., uh, etc. Et um, so it's quite good for um, moving things around. So it's just basically an old chair. I'll just get it off. I've just got a towel on it, but. I'll just put a, a plank of wood on it and that's basically serves its purpose so it's quite quite handy um so yeah so i'll be able to put that up the other way flip it over and work on the electronics from a decent height so so that's kind of handy um but that's just something that i've got uh something that i've been work uh you know chucking a few ideas together but pretty much, I know this is looking a bit of a mess at the moment, but I'll clean it all up and we'll get it sorted. But yeah, I thought these were a really good idea. These little clips, uh, little spring-loaded um, tweezers, are really good. Like you can just grab little things. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much the basics. And um, once you've got all that stuff, <laughs> you can you'll pretty much have a hassle-free, um, tool-wise, uh, assembly process of putting a, any sort of printing system together. So you definitely need all these crimping things because you might want to shorten your wiring up. Um, you want some little picks as well for picking, for flicking the little clips out for, for like the JSTs and stuff like that, for flicking the pins out and re, re, reorganizing the wiring if you've got it, if it's all in the wrong ports or whatever, so. Yeah, so anyway, so this is just a little prequel to the build, I guess. So I'll probably put this in at 1.1, 1.2, I think I might. So we'll see how that goes. Cheers. Oh, thanks for tuning in, guys and girls. Uh, this is Westy, over and out.